Hey, I'm Boyce Bach. Welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode, I wanted to go over uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro and whether or not you could do all of your YouTube editing on that one device. Uh, you know, so Adobe Lightroom, uh, Premiere, Photoshop, all of those things. The short answer is yes, yes, you can, although there are a few catches along the way. So just quickly, in having a look at all of these different sort of tablets and stuff that were available, uh, ended up going for the Surface Pro 7 Plus rather than the brand new 8. They're running very, very similar specs and very similar hardware. There wasn't enough uh, in the brand new 8 one to justify the, the jump up in price for me personally. Uh, if you have a look at the spec sheet, there is a minute sort of difference between the two. So I opted to go for the 7 because that's obviously come down in price. So the reason that we wanted this in the first place, to be honest with you, is just to have a little bit more freedom when it came to, you know, editing videos and all that sort of stuff. This is my home office, like I mentioned before, so I tend to sort of work from home, game in here, create YouTube videos, all of that stuff. So this is like my full time job and then you do your YouTube stuff on top. So you end up spending so much time in this one space. It's, it's nice to be able to get out of here. One of the things that we were looking at really is, is that ability to be able to take all of the work, all the stuff you're doing into another room, sit down, chill on the sofa, you know, maybe even take it to bed one night if I wanted to, you know, sit in there, put the put the tablet on my lap, that sort of thing. So that was really the, the main consideration is, can this thing run Adobe and all the stuff that I use here on the computer, um, you know, while I'm, you know, sat on the sofa, relaxing somewhere else, or I want to go somewhere and take it with me, that sort of thing. You know, I, I am a I am an avid photographer. I'm doing a lot more outdoor photography now as well. So the fact that that's, you know, the Surface Pro is so small, you can take it with you in a backpack, that sort of thing. Do some editing on the go, uh, you know, dump, dump your files on there, that sort of thing. Really invaluable to me. So we'll get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna put in the description all the specs of the tablet if you are interested in that sort of stuff. There's plenty of videos, plenty of guides, all of that stuff that are already covered that sort of ground. Today we're gonna to jump into the Adobe suite. Just as a quick note, we were having a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab first. That was like first choice, uh, you know, as we were looking for, for sort of a device to do this with. Now the reason that I ended up straying away from that is because you can use Adobe Rush on that. You have to use an APK installer. It's not sort of readily available in the app store, which was an, an sort of another layer of faff to deal with. And then also in having a look at that, I realized that you could take Adobe Rush files and you could import them into Premiere, but not the other way around. So you can't take Premiere files and put them in Adobe Rush and finish them off that way. Adobe Rush is a bit of a sort of a slimline version, if you will, of Premiere and doesn't have all the features and therefore you can't just, you know, I can't, I couldn't start something on the tablet and then finish it off on my PC or vice versa. As soon as I found that out, then a Windows tablet or that sort of thing was, you know, that was by far the, the biggest, um, the biggest draw then because I could just install the full fat version of Adobe Premiere or Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever on the device itself. Uh, without worrying about compatibility issues or anything like that. Again, on the website, install it, download it, hit the button, put your credentials in, away you go. Really, really simple. Uh, I will note that on the tablet itself, it does take a lot longer to actually boot up than my main computer does. This thing is running, you know, sort of bigger hardware, all the rest of it. This is only a tiny little piece at the end of the day. However, once you're into the software itself, it works great. Um, there is something to be said about using the pen for editing things in Lightroom, that sort of thing. The, you know, the Surface Pen, fantastic. Absolutely incredible, love it. Uh, when it comes to using Premiere though, it's a little bit more finicky. It does take a little bit more getting used to, you know, sort of learning how to right click, uh, you know, uh, all the shortcuts and stuff. You're not as quick with the pen as you what you would be with a mouse if you are, you know, like me, someone that's used to using it on your PC for a long, you know, long amount of time. Having said that, um, getting yourself a little wireless keyboard and mouse, fantastic for this thing. Um, you know, uh, ended up picking up one that has like a trackpad and a, a little keyboard in one, so it's great. You know, you can whiz around the, the program when you need to double tap on things. Obviously, you've got the, the, the touch on the screen as well. So all in all, a good user experience with it. It's a lot easier to use than what I was expecting, in all honesty. Um, and you can absolutely get around with using one of these devices in order to edit all of your YouTube videos. There is one catch. 
That catch is the export time. Obviously, because it's not um, you know running all this crazy big hardware and all the rest of it that your computer will or your laptop and all of that sort of stuff, the um, actual encoding time, you know, the the exporting does take a little bit longer than usual. So what we tend to do is while we're out and about or we're you know relaxing somewhere out on a you know sort of a, an adventure or anything like that, is we do our edits on the move on the go, and then what we'll then do is upload that to the cloud and then from there open it on the computer and export on the computer. It makes a big difference, you know, we were exporting a file on the Surface Pro, said it was gonna take about an hour and a half, on the computer it took about 15 minutes. There is quite a bit of a difference when it comes to export time. If that doesn't bother you, however, or you can live with that, then happy days, this thing is fantastic. The thing that I'm most looking forward to is I'm so used to editing you know, sort of photos, especially, um, especially for all the stuff I do on Instagram on Lightroom. And, you know, you, you're on a tiny little phone this big and you're trying to like pinch and zoom and make selective edits, whereas on this thing, fantastic, full screen, pen in your hand, selective edits are so, so nice. Um, it's great to use. It's a fantastic bit of kit. Um, now, I know there's a, I've sort of seen a couple guides really on YouTube about, you know, sort of using various different tablet software, but honestly, uh, this thing is fantastic. If you want to do YouTube editing or, you know, Premiere on the go, anything like that, this thing's fantastic, works great. Um, exactly how you'd expect really from a PC experience. Uh, like I said, the only thing that I've really noticed is the export time. So this isn't a guide on, you know, how to use Premiere or anything like that. This is really for existing people that are using the software or something similar and wanted to know if they can get around with using it on a device like this. You absolutely can. Uh, it works fantastic. Uh, it's a great bit of kit, uh, you know, super happy with it. It just gives us an extra layer of, um, you know, sort of flexibility when it comes to editing, especially when you're on a tight schedule, you know, you, you work all week, you, you're then recording, you, you're out and about, you, you know, you're off somewhere for the weekend, at least some, something like this you can take with you, edit on the go and, you know, do everything that you could possibly want. It's also got the built-in camera so you can do like your thumbnails and all of that sort of stuff from the one device. It's fantastic. Definitely gets a thumbs up. And so until next time, I'll see you later.